Characters are the vehicle in which the audience can empathize with the message of your story. It's important that when you're writing your characters, you remember the role that they serve in the context of the story that you're trying to tell. If you want to write the best possible characters, then this video is for you. This video is a follow-up to my earlier video discussing world building and why it's so important. In this video, I'm going to go over the importance of character development and give you some tips and tricks to help develop characters for your story. Stick around to the end, I'm going to give you guys a free bonus tool that I think will help you out. My name is Sid Ward, and on this channel I document my journey to becoming a self-sufficient creative, and I try to inspire you to do the same. Last time we talked about building a world for your story, and if you haven't seen that video yet, I recommend you check it out. I'll link it for you right up here. In that video, we talked about things like the political structure of your world and how it affects the characters within. A friend of mine recommended that I go into more detail about character development. So today, I'm going to discuss how you can dive deeper into developing your characters to help you tell your story as effectively as possible. Simply put, character development is the process in which you construct background and motivation for your characters within your story. It's important to think about the internal and external obstacles that the character must face within your story, and to think about how your character changes over the course of your story. So why is character development so important? Like I said earlier, characters are the vehicle in which the audience empathizes with the message of your story. It's important for you to realize this when you're creating characters for your story. The things that are important to your character, their motives, weaknesses, are all there to serve the story that you're trying to tell. If you haven't already, I recommend you check out my video about why storytelling is so important, and I'll link it for you right up here. Now that I've explained why character development is important, I'm going to give you some steps that you should follow when it comes to developing characters for your story. Ideally, you'll have already put in some thought into the basic story you want to tell and the world of that story. If not, that's okay. And if you get stuck thinking about the world, go back to my world building video for guidance. The first step that I recommend you perform when developing your character is to think about the narrative purpose that this character serves within your story. Depending on who you ask, there can be up to nine different roles that characters play within your story. But I'm going to simplify and just talk about two important ones, which are the protagonist and the antagonist. A protagonist is often the hero of the story. They're the chief character or the main character, if you will. The protagonist pushes the story forward. They're the character that faces the most obstacles obstacles, and the antagonist is the one that creates those obstacles. The antagonist stands in the way of the protagonist. When you're developing a protagonist, or any character for that matter, it's important to give them both imperfections and an arc, one where they grow over the duration of your story. It can get really boring if your characters, especially the protagonist, are flawless individuals who can do nothing wrong. Always remember that the best characters are often those that grow throughout your story, so keep them vulnerable and human. When developing an antagonist, or the bad guy, it's important to remember that they are people too, with their own definitions of what is moral, and they have their own motivations. Just like the protagonist, the reasons behind the antagonist's actions should be understandable, even if the audience doesn't necessarily agree. Some other important things that you should keep in mind when developing your characters are to give them a unique voice that the audience can recognize. The audience should be able to tell the difference between the way your characters speak and the things that your characters want. The audience should care about your characters, and this is especially important when you're defining the protagonist. Try your best to make the internal thoughts of your characters known to the audience. The next thing that I recommend for you is to think about the history of your character. Much like the history of your world can influence why things are the way they are, the history of your character helps the audience understand why they believe what they do and why they're motivated to do what they want to do. Another tip is to think about yourself and the people that you know when you're developing your character. Think about how you would react in a particular situation and use that for the basis of the behaviors of a character. Before I get to the bonus tip, let me know in the comment section what kind of characters you're going to write. I really look forward to seeing what you guys come up with. Okay, bonus tip for today is to utilize a character profile as a guide for developing your character. While a character profile isn't completely necessary, and you could develop a great character without using one, I think it could be very helpful for you, especially if you're getting started. I've put together a free template that you can download right now and use to develop your characters. If you're developing the main character, great, but this template will guide you even if you're creating the other characters in your story. The template has you put information like a name and a short bio for your character, as well as other things like their role within the plot and their personality type. The link to the template is in the description, it takes you directly to my Patreon page. Now, I know, Patreon usually costs money, but this template is available completely for free so that you can start. There's a version that you can fill out digitally using a PDF reader, and there's a version that you can print out and fill it out with a pen or pencil. Hopefully that template is useful for you. And if this video was helpful, I would appreciate it if you could subscribe to the channel and keep up with my creative journey. I'll also link my Instagram account down below where you can keep up with everything on there too. And let me know in the comments what videos you would like to see next.